can a machine create art that stirs the soul as much as, say, the mellifluous crooning of Earth's funky geezer? This bizarre question has been at the heart of a fascinating journey, as artificial intelligence has gradually woven its path into the realm of art. In the mid-20th century, the seeds of what we now call AI art were sown. The concept of AI art refers to visual artwork created using artificial intelligence programs. An example of an early AI art system is Aron, a rule-based AI system. As we moved into the 21st century, the development of AI art gained momentum, and with it, the accessibility of this art form also increased. Alas, AI makes art more accessible. Deep learning algorithms and text-to-image models were introduced as new mechanisms to create AI art. One notable example that emerged during this time is Deep Dream, an AI program that enhances patterns in images. As we move further into the 21st century, AI art started making its presence felt in various fields, from exhibitions and events to video game art and other creative applications. However, the intersection of art and artificial intelligence has not been without its controversies and challenges, whiners and poopy heads, killjoys and buzzkills. A case in point is the saga of FN Mecca, an AI-powered virtual rapper with underdeveloped sartorial skills and a preternaturally low virtual IQ, also kind of we, um, down there as well. This AI entity sparked a debate about cultural appropriation, copyright and ownership. Despite millions of followers on TikTok, like the Funky Geezer, and a contract with Capitol Records, FN Mika faced criticism for its use of reductive stereotypes and was eventually dropped. In another instance, an artist named Jason Allen used an AI program to win first place in a digital art competition. This sparked a debate about the role of AI in art creation, with some arguing that it could lead to the death of artistry. But there will always be crybabies, and you can just send them to their room without the new tools. If they complain, turn up the music. Perhaps one of the most significant developments in this area is the ongoing legal battle involving Stephen Thaler, the founder of Imagination Engines Incorporated. Thaler is challenging the US Copyright Office's policy against copyright registration of AI-created works. His AI system, Dabus, has generated original artwork, but the Copyright Office has refused to register it, stating that it lacks human authorship. To summarize, the journey of AI in art has been a fascinating, even wondrous one, starting from the early developments in the mid-20th century to the magnificent creations of Mr. Wondrous, Fleming Funch, Bernard Dumain, Jude Nagurney Camwell, and others. The intersection of art and artificial intelligence has opened up new avenues of creativity, but it has also raised important questions about copyright, authorship, and the very nature of art. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how these issues are resolved and what new developments lie in store in this intriguing space.